many 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Days viewers are mocking Kim Menzies for acting predatory toward Usman Umar aka Sotoboy on episode 7, and she has received lots of criticism in return. Kim is a 50-year-old woman smitten by her favorite Nigerian singer Usman, who's as revered to her as Michael Jackson. After sliding into Usman's DMs following his split with ex-wife Lisa Babygirl Ham, Kim and Usman started speaking all the time, which led him to invite her to Tanzania. While Kim dreams of getting married to Usman, he hasn't even thought of her as a girlfriend. So when it came to Kim asking Usman to sleep with her in her room, Usman protested and even made a pillow wall so that Kim would stay away from his yummy yummy. Dot when Kim and Usman finally got to spend time together in Zen Zyber after he wrapped up his Zara music video shoot, she initiated the talk of sharing a room. Meanwhile, Usman, who'd already taken expensive gifts such as a MacBook and a PlayStation 5 from Kim, accused her of using him for sex. At that time, Kim claimed she wasn't begging as Usman accused her of acting like Lisa, his ex. Upon reaching the hotel, Usman did give in and agree to sleep next to Kim. He wanted to show he was serious, but didn't want to get intimate without being in a relationship. Meanwhile, Kim desperately wanted to be the judge of his yam, and the way she behaved was completely unsettling and cringeworthy, giving 90 Day Fiancé fan second-hand embarrassment. On the flip side, there are several fans who believe that Kim deserves better, and all that Usman has been doing so far is throwing out little breadcrumbs just to keep her hooked. Kim has been someone who fans never saw in a negative light since episode 1 of 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days so seeing her subtly demeaning herself by throwing herself at Usman is making them feel genuinely bad. Fans want Kim to see that Usman is just not into her and that her being on the show means that she should have already been past the fangirl stage, which Usman has made sure didn't happen. Usman has a notorious past as a user on 90 Day Fiancé, where fans have seen him get into a relationship with Lisa, who even reportedly got fired for using the N-word with him just to get fame and a visa. It appears that Kim has been blinded by the star quality of Usman so much that she's unable to see through his act. 90 Day Fiancé Kim and Usman Sohaboy Humor Doc Besides, Kim exposing her most vulnerable self on TV via 90 Day Fiancé is also helping her earn sympathy from some viewers. The situation that Kim is going through doesn't seem unrealistic to her fans who just wish she could learn to take things slow and not let anyone make her feel like she's not good enough. So far, Kim has been nothing but loyal to Usman and even helped him during his shoot by stepping into the shoes of a dependable manager and cheerleader. She didn't even bother pushing Usman for the truth when he lied to her about the song Zara being a dedication to all the women named Zara across the world and not Usman's ex-girlfriend. He shouldn't have invited Kim to Tanzania in the first place and raised her expectations by dangling the carrot of a relationship in her face. Still, it's not like Usman owes Kim sex just because she tried to buy his love with pricey gifts. Kim is acting delusional and is suggesting that she doesn't understand consent. Her behavior was disappointing to those who expected Kim to be better and have an iota of self-respect. She failed to respect Usman's wishes as well especially since he'd set a boundary beforehand that they would sleep in separate rooms and not get intimate. Some 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Days viewers also think that Kim was super problematic and are wondering what would have happened if their roles were reversed and Kim was a 50-year-old man. 
After all, if Kim really loved Usman aka Soha Boy, she would have given him space, while realizing why is it that he wants to go at a slower pace.